Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination, this is Prince. So today we are going to start a brand new series that is GitLab in Test Automation. So what we'll be covering as part of current series, we will try to understand what is GitLab, we'll discuss how to set up a Git repository on GitLab, how GitLab works, wherein we'll try to understand the architecture of GitLab the different runners in GitLab and how to utilize runners to execute the test cases and then we'll discuss the importance of .gitlab-ci.yml file which is a pipeline file how to set up .gitlab-ci.yml file in the Git repository we'll be discussing about creation of first job and to run how to run that job then we'll run our first pipeline and we'll discuss different ways of running the pipeline that is through commit which is the default behavior through manual way of triggering the pipeline and through schedule we'll discuss or cover the ci cd variables and we'll cover how to run job or pipeline using the parameters or we can say parameterized job or pipeline and at last we'll cover rules to control running of jobs and then we'll be covering how to utilize GitLab to execute the same test case across different browsers that is cross browser parallel execution. So this is what we'll be covering as part of this series. Now what are the prerequisite and who all can watch this particular series? Those who are planning to onboard their test automation framework to GitLab to utilize GitLab to store their code first and to utilize GitLab to execute their test cases in the infrastructure or environment provided by the GitLab or people those who are planning to learn GitLab they all can take benefit of this particular series and now what are the prerequisites so first of all you should have git installed in your system and secondly you should have basic understanding of git and how to use git to push your changes to the remote repository such as github gitlab or bitbucket right now let us try to understand git at high level in case you are not much familiar with git i would request you to please check out my series on git which i have already created so i'll be sharing the link of same in the i icon so you can check out how to utilize git to push your changes to github and we will be using the same concept to push our changes to the gitlab okay now what is git so git is a version control system so whenever we are making changes right so we keep track of different versions of changes so git helps us keeping track of different versions of the code that we are changing okay so git is used for that purpose and git is a software which is installed in the client machine so for example i am a user so i am a client so git is installed in my system and when we are making changes so it is keeping track of those changes in the local machine now we need to keep this changes or uh, these core changes to some remote machine so these remote machines are nothing but are different servers it could be github bitbucket or gitlab in our case okay meaning in today's case right now after making changes locally or after maintaining the different versions of your code we can push our changes to the remote repository so git is used to keep a sync between local and remote repository so that multiple people can collaborate for a software and can work in the distributed manner so this is what is git okay now what is gitlab okay so gitlab is nothing but it is a web based git repository that offers free public and private repository meaning it offers public as well as private repositories for free but for advanced features you can go for the paid version okay and it is a complete devops platform that allows test automation team to collaborate and achieve quick execution meaning it has a provision to store code as well as it has provision to execute the test cases in the in-house environment so this is what we'll be discussing it has many features but we'll be focusing on two important features that is repository management which is source code management and ci cd right now let me show you the ui okay so this is the url gitlab dot com slash users dot users slash sign up so using this we can sign up 
so we can enter our first name user last name username whatever you want and email and we can configure the password and we can register it or you can register it with google github or bitbucket as well right so whichever way you want to do it in my case i have already uh, created the account so what we'll be covering next will be adding a project to this particular gitlab in the next video so this is what i wanted to cover for the current lecture so thank you for watching i would request you to please like share and subscribe and stay tuned for more such interesting videos